everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And today we're taking a look at Bag of Chips, which actually comes in this very crinkly bag. How's that sound in the Oof. microphone? Um, yeah, you can't eat just one chip, that's what they say. Although I have eaten just one chip in my life, just uh, want to point it out. I've never eaten just one chip in my life. Have you ever eaten a whole bag? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it might incriminate me. I almost I have never have. Absolutely it's eaten it's hard bag. to eat a whole bag of chips. They, they, you get kind of... It is. I'll tell you, I have eaten a whole jar of Pringles, what? or whatever different. those are called. That's yeah. different. Okay, well, what's the best flavor of chips? I'm a fan of probably barbecue. Sour cream and lemon is good, too, which is interesting because I hate sour cream. Sour cream and lemon, huh? Oh, sorry, sour cream and <laughs> I, I, I'm calling for sour cream and lemon. I think that should be a new exciting chip flavor. I'm more of a salt and vinegar or jalapeno, but I also like weird flavors. Mm. And that's kind of what we have here, a bunch of flavored chips that are actually green chips. You probably should not eat a green chip, just as a heads up. This is a small... Push your, not push your luck. There's a little push your luck going it's on. It's bingo style. You know what? I'll just show you. The game is centered around, well, a bag of chips. And you're going to have a bunch of chips that you're going to throw into this bag. And the, you know that the distribution is seven yellows, six greens, five reds, four purples, and three oranges. So I'm going to go through a sample round of the game. Let's say in this round, Everyone's, everyone in a round is going to get six cards drawn from the deck. And you get to look at the different cards to see what they do. Then somebody is going to draw five random chips from the bag. So we have for round one. So we have a green, a yellow, an orange, a red, and a purple. Wow, one of every color. I'm going to look at my cards, and I'm going to discard two of these cards. I'm, I'm trying to score for these cards. So I'm like, ooh, this one says if there's four purples. Well, there only is four purples. We drew one. I might hang on to that one. This one says a red chip will be the last chip drawn. Maybe. This one says no oranges. Well, there is an orange. So this one's not going to happen. This says five per yellow. You know what? I don't think there's going to be a lot of yellow. I'll get rid of that too. So you get rid of two of the cards in your hand. Now you're down to four. Now four more chips are drawn. Two yellows, a green, and a red. Now I have to get rid of another card. Hmm. Well, this is getting a little tricky here. Uh, this one says there's more reds than greens. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So I'm going to get rid of that one. So now I'm down to the last three. We then draw three more chips from the bag. So I get, whoops, I get a purple, an orange, and a yellow. When this happens, each player, who at the, uh, you'll have three left, you're going to pick two cards that you want to score. So I'm going to go, you know what, I don't think four purples is going to happen. So this one I'm saying is not going to happen. These two I'm saying are going to happen. So you put these face down, but you, your, your discard pile will help you. See the pluses point to here, the minus points to here. But I'm putting them face up just for this purpose. Then the last chips are drawn from the bag one at a time. A yellow is drawn, and then a, come on, let it be red. Yes! It's a red chip, the last chip that's drawn. The, the, the last two are drawn one at a time because it matters. So since the last chip to be drawn was a red, I'm going to get 81 points. Do the oranges equal purples? They do. So I get 40. Are there four purples? No. So I'm okay. If there had been four purples, I would have lost 140 points. But instead, I got 121 points. Whoever gets the most points in a round is going to get two of these markers. Second most will get one. First person to get four of these is the winner. You'll play another round. Now, it's very possible for you to get no points in a round. That's happened to me many times. And you can, some of them, like this one gives you 11 points for every red chip. This one only gives you one. You need at least one chip of every color. But hey, one beats zero. And so you can see there's all different amounts of points in here. And in fact, this one, if there's more oranges than yellow, it's an auto win. And that's because there's three oranges and seven yellows. The chance of that happening, I've never seen it happen yet, but you never know. That's how you play. Okay, so before we talk about the game, I gotta say my biggest problem with this game, by a mile, is this bag. It's my a, hand is yeah. a gorilla hand, mm -hmm. and ah! It's true. It, it's it's a nice gimmick, but it is gonna be functionally difficult for many people to. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. I guess I could put it in a, a cloth bag, but then this is the actual packaging. There's no box to put this in. You could get a larger cloth bag that you folded up and kept inside of there. Oh. Now that would work. Mm -hmm. That's Of the components, that's my only problem. Although I will say that even though 
the rule book, which for some reason is one of these rule books, and I'm stop not, making these people. Not I'm not. I'm not traveling the U.S. by map. <laughs> Most um, people wouldn't even remember those type of fold-out maps anyway, Tom. Well, We're if showing they did, our age. If they did, you wouldn't know how to put it back together. True. My dad would just say, fold the map, and I, <laughs> and I couldn't. But it tells you what all the cards mean. I thought the card iconography was okay. Mm. Like the one, for example, this, this one that says it's the last chip drawn. Yes. I would never have guessed that unless I was told it. That's correct. Yeah. It's, I, I think it would be difficult to notify that or show that with iconography, but that's not the best. Yeah, I don't know either, but yeah. Anyway, the gameplay itself, really simple. I yes. mean, this is a game that people are going to drop in and out of. You pull the chips, there's going to be laughter and all. Yes. Um, it is a little weird to explain to people that one of your final three cards will be negative. Yes. So you almost want to keep a card that you think no way will happen. Right. Yeah, I, I find that the, that typically I'll either, either do that, a card that I think is either impossible or very unlikely to happen, or a card that has so few points that it doesn't matter, even if it does hit. Right, but it, it's something that you have to teach people because they'll yes. sit there and go, these two don't work, this one doesn't work. Hey, all three of these might work. Oh, no. Right. And I think the game actually wants you to, to not do that. The the point totals, what do you think of them? Because this card is 81 points. I, well, look, when you ask me questions that have anything to do with potential mathematical computations, I feel completely unqualified. But I was very taken aback, I'll put it to you that way, by not only the odd scores, 81, 201, but the just the amount. Yeah, you know, know. <laughs> is there any way to find out if those are actually balanced well? I'm going to guess that there's maybe, maybe, the only thing I can think of is that these scores are based on odds. Okay, that would like, make sense. Like, what are the odds of a red chip being pulled last? Yeah. It's one in whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, it, converting that to points, it's 81. Yeah, that must be what they did, right? I'm hoping so. <laughs> but you know what? It's kind of funny because they have all these giant points out here. Yes. And you know what? Most of the time, a score is going to end where Mike has 212. I have zero. Susan has zero. Sally has zero. Right. <laughs> That's how a lot of games work. And I honestly, that doesn't bother me too much because this is essentially a party game, right? This really is. It's not to be, I don't feel it's to be taken terribly seriously. There's going to be some stand-up moments. The way the game is actually designed, I think, is one that is leading to these kind of stand-up moments where the last card, you're drawing out two chips one at a time because they want you to build that anticipation. And in more cases than not, I felt like it did that well. It does, and it's a weird combo of, like Mike said, stand-up moments, but also very relaxed. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, I hope you draw a purple. <laughs> All right. I'm also, oh, you didn't. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'm it, out. It, yeah. Well, it's just, but it's it's a very light game. It is, And yes. I think this could be sold at the, you know, I was about to say at the supermarket, but don't people actually yeah. eat this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's your final thoughts on it? I mean, being a light game like that. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think it's, it has a mass market feel. Uh, look, the game is is appealing. It's not anything that is going to, uh, I feel, have any lasting impact. I feel like most of the decisions are very obvious, but it's still, I have to say, the fun factor is there. And I know people hate because it's a, an ambiguous word, but what is fun? You know it when you see it, and it's fun. I'm giving it a seven. I think that it is something that I would play. I can see, especially in, in uh, kind of group, party type environments, it would go over very well. And it's so quick, you know, it really is. It's, it's a trifle, but it's a fun trifle. I'm also giving it a seven. This is the kind of game where I feel like I'm doing cool <laughs> mathematical things, and then at the end you're like, I guess I wasn't, mm. but I had fun pretending. Yeah. And there is also the chance of like, oh, four purple chips. I'm going to keep that card and hope it goes off. Right, yeah. And, oh, I'm on the last one. He needs to pull two purples for it to work. But it might. It could. It probably is. It probably won't. And, but when it happens, it makes everybody happy. Sure. So this is essentially a mass market game, but one I can get behind. And even though I wouldn't bring it out myself all the time, I would definitely recommend this to people. And if someone said, hey, I'm playing this, I'd be like, yeah, why not? And I'd sit down and play it. And I would do that happily, yes. which makes this a seven for me. So. That is a bag of chips. I just need a bigger bag. Yeah, you got to have got a, a real bag. bag of chips. Then your hand will get all salty and <sighs> greasy. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to get a chip that is that is a little bit less greasy and then clean it. Put it in a Pringles can. Okay. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. Have fun munching. Cop, cop, cop.